Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brad X, the owner and founder of Suburban Noise Records, member of the Cottonmouth Kings. I just want to address a couple issues that have been happening around the Sub Noise camp. I know there's been a lot of speculation and rumors going on. Yes, it is true. I have been fired from the label that I started. Basically, to rewind the clock, in 1996, I founded Sub Noise to do artist-friendly 50-50 deals. And we started building up a nice little underground label. In 2001... Cottonmouth King's manager at the time and part owner of SRH, Kevin Zinger, approached me about running the day-to-day -day and I, for in return, I'd give him half of the company, bring him in and he'd, he'd run the day-to-day -day so I could, you know, tour and produce records and do what I do and he'd look out for my best interest. So, for free, I gave him half of the company. You know, I did this with good intentions because he is my manager and he's going to look out for my best interest. In return, Ryan White and Kevin Zinger, owners of SRH, because SRH started blowing up as Cottonmouth Kings were blown up, issued the members of the Cottonmouth Kings shares in their company. They gave stock certificates and ownerships in SRH. And that was the shit. That was a righteous thing to do. We took pride of ownership. We put it on everything. Every record, every sub-noise product. SRH, the spade is everywhere. People, you know think we own it. We think we own part of it because we were told by our manager and our brother and our friend that we own part of the company. Well, it turns out, fast forward to 2008, we start questioning, well, what's up? You know, SRH is blowing up. Things are getting bigger. What's going on? I thought we own part of the company. Well, the answer we get is you guys, we, we give you guys t-shirts and it's all good. It's just a wash, you know? So, that creates a little tension within the band members. Um, then we find out that our trademark and domains have been transferred by our manager into from the Cottonmouth Kings to Kevin Zinger. CottonmouthKings.com, the Cottonmouth Kings trademark, Cottonmouth Kings YouTube is now in Kevin Zinger's personal name. I address him on this. Hey, this is not cool. This is Cottonmouth Kings property. Please return it. You're our manager. What, why, why, why would you put it in your name? Well, I get the runaround. It took me two years to get CottonmouthKings.com transferred back over to the Cottonmouth Kings. And that was, that, that was a long, ugly battle. And the trademark, I thought I had, he had transferred back multiple times going back to 2007. Uh, I thought we'd handle it. They kept coming up that, no, it's still in Kevin's name. So I went to his house. I had, in around 2010, I went to his house. Dude, you have to sign the Cottonmouth Kings trademark trademark back over the Cottonmouth Kings. It's our trademark. Like, why? it's not supposed to be in your personal name. And so he's all, no problem. I'll, you, I'll handle it. I, I, I bring the form. It comes with a $10 check. So he even goes and cashes the $10 check to make it look like he did it, but come to find out, he didn't do it. I also find out that he's been taking money out of the company unauthorized. I won't get into all that, that'll be part of this lawsuit. I've been hearing stories of bad business being done from all the artists, lack of royalty reporting. So I want to start looking into it. I've been touring really hard, making lots of records for 10 years. So I took a step back and I said, you know what? Things are really weird. You got regime management running out here for years. I'm hearing all kinds of stories from artists. I want to have the books audited by an outside company. So can I please get the books? Basically, I get the run around. I don't get the books. I, run, I get the run around for months and months and months. I get a lawyer so I could get the books to have the company audited because I have a liability and a responsibility to the artist on the label, to myself. And fast forward to right now, he puts out this thing that he's given me all the books, everything I've asked for. This is not true. I've hired an auditor that has no agenda. He's an outside, an outside auditor that doesn't know the Cottonmouth Kings, doesn't know Kevin Zinner, doesn't know Brad X, to do an audit just to make sure that everything is being done. There's millions of dollars being generated. I want to make sure it's being circulated and redistributed properly. So that's what this is all about. I still haven't gotten all the books. I'm trying to perform this audit on behalf of the artist and myself and clear this up. So I can move on in life. You know what I mean? So I've been fired from the company that I started for looking into this. I've been cut off financially. I've been blackballed. I've been what slander, whatever you want to call it. But you know what? I'll keep fighting the good fight. So stay tuned. Free the kings. Long live the kings.